Is there anything else that is an immediate turn off for you in an interview, like an immediate red flag? If someone says something or does something. Oh yeah, there's so many. Immediate, not going to hire you if you talk badly about your last boss, because the way you treated your last person is probably going to be the way you treat me. Immediately not going to hire you. Second immediate, not going to hire you, is if you talk about all the reasons why something didn't work and it's not your fault. So if you're victim mentality at all, well, this didn't work because of this, this didn't work because of this. Third in the interview is if you at all start talking about, um, <laughs> this one's a little inappropriate, but if you come into my companies and you say, uh, talk to me about work-life balance, I'm not the place for you. Our companies are hardcore. There's not a lot of work-life balance. We work hard. So I'm not going to hire you if you talk about how much time off. Are you you know, texting on the weekends? The answer is yes. The second uh, point to that is I always make the job seem worse than it is. And so and a lot of people who hire try to sell the person. This is why it's so great. You should come here. My interview usually goes like this. Hey, I want to ask you a bunch of questions about your background. Then I'm going to tell you all the things that are really tough about this job. So you get the honest truth about it one way or the other. And I'll wrap up with you, with you asking any questions you want. Does that sound good? They go, yep. I kind of pepper them with questions about them. And they go, here's all the things that suck about this job. Here's all the things that are hard. Here's all the reasons why it hasn't worked to date. Any questions on that? And the reason why is because I don't want anybody coming into my company and going, God, I thought it was going to be better than this. I want them coming in and going, oh, okay, this actually isn't miserable. And at some point, from you know, you leapfrog from one place to another, and eventually you have enough, I guess, intelligence to to start be thinking about becoming an owner at some mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. How do I make that transition from being a, a team member or an employee to becoming an owner?